Welcome to Around the Weird. Here's your host, the museum curator of the strange and unusual, Mr. Nothing. Thank you, mysterious voice, and welcome back to Around the Weird, a booktube channel where I talk about all the unusual and out-of-the-ordinary literature that I have found in my travels, and sometimes literature that has just appeared before me without any explanation, leaving me terrified. Today, it is Poetry Thursday, a wonderful opportunity to talk about some poetry that I found recently, especially some spooky poetry because it is October, Spooktober, a wonderful month to talk about Halloween type things or just scary things in general. Uh, And I have a bit of a scary poem for you today. Uh, Today's poem is all about a person who might be a ghost or a figment of your imagination. I am referring to Antigonish or Antigonish uh, or the little man who wasn't there. Uh, That's the alternate title by William Mearns. For those who don't know, William Mearns was a a poet, uh, a bit of a writer, and also an educator. Um, He wrote a couple of collections of poetry, uh, and one of the poems that he's most known for is the one that I'm talking about today, uh, which uh, which comes from one of the plays that he wrote, and this was later published in... um, in the column of the newspaper that he wrote for, uh, and so that's probably why he's so well known for it. Um, and in, in addition to doing all that, he developed some educational teaching styles uh, and was known for implementing some progressive styles that benefited the youths he was supposedly teaching. So, you know, uh, always good to see someone who is uh, willing to try new things to, to benefit people. Uh, And so without further ado, let's talk about uh, this poem now. I am going to read it, and then I will do an analysis, and we will move on from there. Antigonish. Yesterday, upon the stair, I met a man who wasn't there. He wasn't there again today. I wish, I wish he'd go away. When I came home last night at three, the man was waiting there for me. But when I looked around the hall, I couldn't see him there at all. Go away, go away. Don't you come back anymore. Go away, go away. And please don't slam the door. Last night I saw upon the stair a little man who wasn't there. He wasn't there again today. Oh, how I wish he'd go away. So that was Antigonish. In terms of analysis, there is um, a little bit to talk about. It's a pretty short poem. Uh, One thing worth noting about it is uh, the refrain that the author puts in there, that William Marins puts in there. It's the, he wasn't there again today. I wish, I wish he'd go away. He says it pretty frequently. Um throughout the poem. And I think using refrains is um, is pretty good. Uh, usually you see it in songs, but you've seen, you also see it here. And it's, it's just a good way of getting at the, um, the authors, the narrators, exasperations upon seeing uh, this person over and over again when they don't want to be seeing them. Uh, so um, very good use of, of, of a refrain there. Um, in terms of analyzing the narrative, uh, it seems pretty easy to get an understanding of what the narr- narrator is talking about. They're, they saw someone by the stair um, who they wished like they hadn't seen, uh, and they wished that person would go away, but they keep lingering around for multiple nights. Uh, and then ultimately, the narrator notes, uh, like, they saw upon the stair a little man. Is it the same person that they're seeing? It could be uh, two different, two different figments, two different people. Uh, but what's clear is the is the narrator is being tormented in this poem. Now I do think that there could be multiple interpretations of this. The first is it's uh, you know a simple spooky story. This person is seeing a ghost or some sort of demon or some sort of creature, um, a little man, a um, just a general like a man, maybe a fairy type creature trying to imitate being a man. 
man. Uh, but uh, he sees it over and over. But when he, he goes to look back, the creature is not there anymore. Uh, and that exasperates the narrator. So it could be, you know, a simple but effective ghost story told over three verses. But another interpretation is that this is a, uh, a a tale of mental illness where the um, the narrator it ha has schizophrenia or some other uh, severe and persistent mental illness and is seeing things that aren't there a little man and this could be them just saying oh I hope that little man goes away but it could also be them recognizing their own mental illness because sometimes you know people with schizophrenia might recognize that they have schizophrenia and know that the uh, hallucinations are just that and so they're hoping that those hallucinations go away and this person is saying go away go away and please don't slam the door or don't you come back anymore like they want some solace from this this mental illness that they're that they're dealing with um i don't think that's maybe what marins was getting at um especially because you know the time that he was writing it around the 1900s the mental illness wasn't that you know spoken about or, or widespread yet and so i think it, it more has to do with the the spooky story that he's getting at but this is certainly another interpretation anyway those are my thoughts on antigonish the or i met a man who wasn't there or the little man who wasn't there one of those uh different types of titles uh if you read this before you simply want to comment on something i said here do so below i'll also put a link to the poem in the description so that you can read it and spookify yourself or uh, spookify your friends who want to learn a little bit more about this poem. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, subscribe so that more people can find out about this poet or this author or Poetry Thursday if they don't know about any of those things. Let's get uh, some more poems on BookTube. And until then, I wish you the best of luck in your weird and invisible travels. Farewell.